my law, by law though, I'm on public property right now too. And even if I was inside, there's no reasonable or articulable suspicion of a crime. I do not need to identify. This is not identifiable state. This is a police investigation. That doesn't matter. I can pull up the case law right now if you want. I mean, it's, you're wrong. No, I'm not actually. You are. No, I'm not. So it doesn't really matter. You have to identify yourself if you're involved in something. No. Not if, it, if I committed a crime, if I committed a crime, it's not interfering if I didn't do anything physical. Hi, good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are a first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and the S button bell for future video notifications. This video is from YouTube channel Game Booster. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credit where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments and as always guys, if you would like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Let's get it into it. Interfering with us and we're going to bring you in. That's it. How is that interfering? Because we're because investigating we're a complaint. We're trying to investigate this, this complaint that happened, right? Okay. So we get called here. We need to identify people and make sure nothing happened, okay? But there's what? no, there's no crime committed. I'm not being, I don't want to be rude or anything like that, but I, he should be the one to be talked to first. Okay. Because I did nothing. Okay. I shouldn't. And we intend to go talk we to him. Are However, fully, you were yes. out here and you started talking with us about what Well, happened. you guys came up to me and, and I said hi, you know, so. Do you want to go talk to the... Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'll stay with Mark, Mark we'll here. be right back, okay? Yep. We'll get your name and your report. I, I don't, that, whatever. <laughs> if he, he doesn't know it, but. It's, it's just for the report. Nobody but, but. My law, happened, right? by law though, I'm on public property right now too. And even if I was inside, there's no reasonable or articulable suspicion of a crime. I do not need to identify. This is not identifiable because state. This is a police investigation. That doesn't matter. I can pull up the case law right now if you want. I mean, it's, you're wrong. No, I'm not actually. You are. No, I'm not. So it doesn't really matter. You have to identify yourself if you're involved in something. No. Not, if, it, no, if, if I committed a crime, if I committed a crime, it's not interfering if I didn't do anything physical. That's not correct. That's, That's not, true. No, it's not. I've been doing this job long enough. I know when you have to identify yourself and when you don't. If you were some random person walking down the sidewalk. And, and I said my name is Mark. That's all you need to know. No, it's not. We need your name and your date of birth. No, no you don't. Report, yes, you were involved in some sort of argument. Nope. That's not true. You know I'm not trying. Right? Oh, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just going on my well, constitutional rights. Necessary. No, this is my consti This is my constitutional rights, no, though. It's not. Yes, it is. Go ahead, pull up whatever you think it is, but you're wrong. No. See, see, he's. I'm. I'm chill. <laughs> That's the thing. See, I don't even know what happened either. I was up there and I asked if it's wet and I walked and then he started getting all upset at me. So, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to go downstairs. No, I didn't. I came downstairs. No, 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 no. I came downstairs and standing out here by myself, not bothering no one. You know what I mean? So. No, I know. I'm saying I just got out of the situation because I didn't want a situation. Because yeah, it's not right. I mean, I could be going on my way anyways. It doesn't. I didn't do anything wrong. No, because you're here as part of an investigation. But I didn't break the law. Again, I'm not saying you are. We have to talk to both parties, get everybody's information. He called for whatever reason. If we have additional. Well, that's that's, that's on him then. That's on him. But I didn't do nothing. Says you. <laughs> he just, people don't call the cops for nothing. Obviously, something happened between you guys. He got pissed off enough or whatever to call us. Right or wrong? I guess. I don't know why he would call We're because... Now. So what are we doing? We're investigating whatever did or didn't happen. Yeah, but right? it I didn't like do it's nothing. Totally minor. Nothing really did. It's totally right? minor. It was it's literally just like arguing. Argue, right? And him However, calling me names and stuff and I walking outside. To, and that is why we need your name. That is all. Is your supervisor available, please? For what? Do you have your name and badge number? My name is Officer Eldridge. My badge number is 510. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to be rude. I'm just going because I know my rights. That's all. Uh, well, what you think you know is not how it works. 
your rights, you're correct, and if you were some random person not involved in this, you don't have to give us your name. That is correct. However, you're involved in some sort of incident that we're investigating. Therefore, you need to provide your name. Mm. That's how it works. Otherwise, it's you interfering with our investigation. Interfering is a physical act. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is. That, I'm not going to stop my reading. I'm not going to argue with you. you I'm not trying to, to argue. You don't know why are you yell? Facts. I'm sorry, please don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. Because I'm trying to be so patient with you, and you're not <laughs> providing your name. The next step is you're just going to come in with us if you're refusing to identify yourself. That's how it works. Uh, uh, is there, are you sorry? Oh, you're, oh, you're corporal. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I seen the strike. That's why at first. No, he, he called, and I came down, and I didn't commit a crime. That's yeah. why. But if you need... I need you to listen. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to play any games. You keep that phone on all you want. I got this. No, thing. I know. I know. It's no, fine. Listen. That's the only listen, reason I'm doing it. If you don't it. identify yourself, you're going to jail. Okay, Mark Highland. So are we going to... Are we going Mark Highland. Are we going in? I need ID. Where is it? Okay. Um, I'm getting my ID under threat of uh, arrest. Stand over here so that thing doesn't fall on us. Yeah. I'm getting my ID on threat yeah. of arrest. Thank you. Well, I'm, I got to put it on there just in case. Whatever I you got to do, I don't care. It doesn't really matter. Just, see, that's all we have to do is just identify people. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't do nothing wrong, so I'm, that's, that's fine, fine by me. You got to investigate that. I know, but I know the laws, and literally that's, you have to commit a crime. You know that law, and then you can learn that law if you'd like. Oh, I, I have. This law. I know okay. it, I know the First Amendment. You, you know all five points of the First Amendment? Yeah. Hold <laughs> on one second. It's okay. No, I, I want you to, I mean, I know everything's good, so. Thank you. And you're welcome. I didn't want an argument with no one, I'm just... <laughs> this is... Cop car 19 and 26. Yeah, I gave my ID. That was hard. It, it wasn't hard, I just wanted to make sure because, you know what I mean? I mean, I know my rights, so it's like I just wanted to make sure everything was okay and then I seen that, you know, I thought he was a captain or, or a sergeant or whatever you want to call it supervisor so you know oh. and plus I didn't want to make a big deal out of it I don't want to go to jail so it's like well <laughs> I've already elevated mm, it for no reason well I'm gonna so not, I hope you understand that in the future if you're involved in something that we're investigating you have to provide your name it's just so much easier off the bat oh, to do that okay okay well after this is resolved then um yeah I'll figure everything out did he give ID too yes. okay did you or something? no why didn't you want to give me your name because my rights. If I, if you didn't a rat, you know, reasonable, you articulable super sp suspicion. But, we, but if I'm not in the middle of a crime or committing or about to commit a crime, the, you're missing the the part where you have to give your name and, and date of birth to the police. You don't have to yes, just do. because. Yes, if a do. cop asks you to give you're your ID, yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's the law. You can look it up on your phone. If a cop comes up to me and says I have to give ID, I have to give ID. That's what you're saying? is investigating an incident, and they say that you're involved. You told us you were involved. That was your words, not ours. You said you were involved. Oh, because I said, yeah, said because he started with me, yeah. So that's why we got called here. Uh-huh. Then you have to give your name and ID. Okay, I'll look that up then. Okay. No, I'll, I'll give you guys the benefit of that, definitely. I don't want you to be, like, to be yelling at police officers, and if he's oh, I'm not yelling. and he's, like, freaking out, and he, like, body slams or something down on the ground, like, we don't want any of that. I want you to be as safe as, as, safe as possible. Yeah. The best thing for that is you to know your rights exactly. Okay, so make mm -hmm. sure you look like, look into that, all right? Oh, I, I, I do it all the time, that's why. Okay, because you don't want to arrest people for nothing when you have no warrants or anything. Okay. Exactly, and I know I don't because I had one from like nine years ago, about like two years ago, and I had to go to Hartford, and they dismissed it because it was nothing, you know what I mean? Because of him. <laughs> I'll just do it in a heartbeat because I'm not going to sit here with hold it. Thank you. you. See, everything's good, right? See? Yeah. Yeah. You good? Do you need anything? Do you need any protection? No. Nah. Are you worried about him hurting you in any way? He actually he does get a little crazy sometimes. Like I feel sometimes going into the kitchen, like I get scared. But you have like a room that you can go in that he has no access to. Well, Your that would be right? him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That, we have separate right. apartments. Yeah, we just have a common living area. That's okay. all. So I just 
I ask that in terms of just keeping you safe, okay? Mm -hmm. As long as you have some information to know, you can lock the door and be away from him. That's right. I feel comfortable leaving here without, you know, making yeah. people leave and stuff like that. Yeah, no, there ain't gonna be no problems. Okay. Yeah, uh, but I, I'm usually in my room like 90% of the day playing games. You know what I mean? Because I'm the same. All right. Well, just have a good rest of your day. And I'm sorry if you know what I mean. If you know, it took me a little bit to give ID. It was more or less I was just kind of holding on my rights just to be safe, and then I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. I just want to get it over with. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, what's your badge name? Name and badge number, real quick. Just. All right, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. Take care. Be safe. Seriously. Understanding constitutional rights and legal obligations is crucial for both individuals and police officers. Misunderstandings about when a notification is required can escalate situations. So it's essential to know your rights and the specific legal requirements involved. Clear communication is key to preventing frustration and conflict, and both parties should aim to stay calm and professional. Police procedures often require individuals to provide a notification during investigation, even if no crime is alleged. And understanding these procedures helps ensure compliance will protect in one's, one's rights. The escalation techniques should be used to manage tense inter interactions and proper documentation is necessary for both parties. If any part of the interaction is unclear, require, requ requesting clarification or supervisor can help resolve issues respectively. Continuous education on rights, laws, and procedures benefits everyone involved, promoting effective resolution and safe interactions. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to our video. Make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love and check out his most recent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos. Bye.